Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Unavowed, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get through the Bronx going directly after the East Village. So, at this point, you have either the option to go to the Bronx or to Staten Island. If you went to Staten Island first, you'll have uh, another another character to choose between, uh, Vicky, but since I didn't go there first, um, it's just Eli and Mandana. But I'll tell you how to get through it with Vicky. Alright, so let's get started. Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Yes. And... no. You have completed your first field mission. You must have... thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? Yes, our work is important. Of that there is no doubt. For some of us the unavowed is a calling, for others a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. You misunderstand me. Your old life, your life on the stage, prepared you for this. It made your mind flexible, open to new ideas and new ways of thinking. In this day and age, that is more important than ever. We are an ancient institution. We need new energy, new minds, new hearts. The Inavout has been without that for a very long time. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Yes? Me? What do you want to know? Like with most things, I learned it at my mother's knee. Well, not literally. She was usually cutting off other people's knees, but the metaphor holds. Yes, but I prefer not to dwell. Ask me questions if you must, but not that. I will do my best to answer. Yes, lies and falsehoods make jinns uncomfortable. We cannot abide the sensation. Of course, the ability to detect a lie is often useful in the field, so I have accepted it. That is remarkable. I only detect faint traces of falsehood within you. I can see why you chose the stage as a profession. You truly believe the words you say. Still, please try not to lie to me again. Even in jest, think of fingernails on a chalkboard, but inside your brain. Jins cannot abide to speak a lie, let alone listen to one. Indeed, no Jin could. It gives us physical pain. Of course, this means that Jins resort to mind tricks and verbal trickery. You can trust me to tell the truth. I have no desire to trick you or anyone else. My purpose is to serve the unavowed. Nothing more, nothing less. This is why nobody trusts the Jinn. One always looks for a hidden meaning. Mind games and wordplay are... silly. I find them tiresome. So I have focused my efforts elsewhere. I hope you will grow to trust me. And that is the truth. It is not for your benefit, but I appreciate the sentiment. I believe we made the right choice with Jordan. When he disappeared across the void, he seemed... content? Less conflicted. More determined. I am sure you will make a life for himself there. Thank you. I didn't look at these before, so... Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old texts with Firesight. Oh, of course. Sorry. It's a fire magic trick. 
lets me read any book that was consumed by flame. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. Being a mage has its moments, I won't deny it. Although, I can't say the same about this book. It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long, really boring. But I used to read books about S-Corp tax code for fun back when I was an accountant. I can handle boring. Ah well, see you at the meeting. Fire away. <laughs> That's right, back in my mundane days, back before my powers kicked in. I worked at the firm Weisel, Meltzer, and Sherman. There used to be a Beckett somewhere in the middle of that, but, well, you know. Yep, I was damn good at it, too. I made partner in five years, worked at the firm for another 20. You had to know things to be an accountant back then. No computers to do half your job for you. And to make partner, you had to crunch numbers in your sleep. Me? I ate him for breakfast. Well, it was, for me anyway. Lining up numbers in my head, making them dance and do what I want. My boss used to say it was like magic. Turns out the old man was being literal. Who knew? Yeah, throwing a fireball or preparing your tax return. Tomato, tomato. It's all just numbers, and I'm really good at equations and numbers. Always have been. Sure, I guess. You know what they say. If it's yours, put your name on it. But yeah, that's my house. Well, 50 years ago it was my house. Had to leave it behind when my powers kicked in. And the worst part? I was only five installments away from paying off the mortgage. Well, I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago that was taken. Could we not talk about this yet? Sure. I don't know. I just keep thinking about Jordan, wondering if he's okay. I'm gonna live a long time, but even when I'm dust in the wind, he'll still be out there. I only hope he's still himself. Right. See you around. To send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Aralax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. Then we must be ready when it comes. Aralax, out. Major Hanum swallow you whole. Ah, you heard that, did you? Lady Aralax, head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed. It is no secret that threats have been escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. You will always regret it. A dragon at the head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed. Yes. She is... old. Stuck in her ways. I suppose the same could be said of most of us. A magic foam? I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the Unavowed. It allows us to... communicate. For whatever good that does. As you were. Just wanted to check this out. It's a ship in a boat. I mean, it's a ship in a bottle. Alright, let's call the meeting. Mm hmm? 
Yes, duty calls. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh, this is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. Only to a degree. The rules are clear. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And where that city? Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. You seem fine to me. As for the others, daughter, I trust you have recuperated from your ordeal with the fire elemental. I have. There do not appear to be any other ill effects. So you aren't entirely positive? I took all the necessary precautions, but one is never entirely positive. Then I will have to accept that. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. Sorry about the noise outside. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? Why do demons do anything? To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No. This was too focused. Too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit, bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan. A purpose. We need to learn what it was. Fortunately, you won't have to. Ah, I know that look. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan on it. It's a, a magic thing. Checking objects for imbued magical energy. And I hit pay dirt. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. It's connected to you, and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Which means we can track it. <clears throat> well, I can track the energy signature, but... The demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. Any information is useful, sooner or later. But in this case, it's sooner. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island, by the ferry terminal. Well, you were there. Or at least your body was. Very well. Check both areas for void activity, and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. Meeting adjourned. Alright. So we're gonna get off in the Bronx. Eli, you are tapping the edge of your book. I am? Yes. It is quite... aggressive. Huh. Mine must have wandered. Sorry about that. I'll stop. I have not been to this area since the 70s. It was a dangerous place to be in those days. No kidding. The fire, the crimes, the urban decay. I don't blame you. I refer to the 1770s. This road was a frequent skirmish point between the colonists and the British. If I close my eyes, I can still hear the cannons. Yes. I remember the cannon fire upon the hill nearby, firing upon the British soldiers and upon the shape-shifting Naga that had infiltrated their ranks. 
Kalash told me about that one. He seemed almost ashamed of it. It was a humbling experience for him. He had been hunting that creature for months. Then, one mundane soldier ended it for him. Quite by accident. It saved us a great deal of trouble. And caused Father a great deal of embarrassment. Naturally. What's up? Sure. My old firm had a branch close by. I used to come up here a lot. This area was... different. Everything was falling apart. Everyone was angry. Or looking for a reason to be. Looking around now, it's easy to forget. This place seems almost quaint these days. Right with you. And that's really it. I'm screwed. And this is kind of weird. Why am I telling you all this? <laughs> you got that right. Too bad talking doesn't solve anything. I just don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it. Duh. Of course I want to do something about it. What do you suggest? Maybe we should bring a pillow along next time. Hush. She is waking up. You sure? Because these are new shoes. You seem okay. I suggest cautious optimism. What did the woman in the vision say? The Eddings house? Something to go on. We have achieved more with much less. Let's get moving then. Alright, so... Now we can talk to this guy. Evening, folks. Oh, damn, doesn't bother me much. Not as long as I have my jitter juice here. I work the subway, lady. I see five strange things before noon. You're gonna need to be a lot more specific than that. Now, why would you be asking about that? I guess we all gotta earn a living somehow. Just head west of here. Turn right on Morgan. It's the last house on the left. Sure, you be careful out there. Alright, so here... Make sure to pick up the brick. If you have Vicky with you, you don't need it. Cute place. Pretty typical as these things go. So this is Judging by that op, I would recommend not trying to lift that. You are of no value to us if you strain your back. That's locked. 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 No surprise there. So let's try around the back. Well, that is curious. Well, a talking house. Don't be absurd. The window is talking, not the house. Right. My mistake. This is a fun section. Alright, so now you have the brick. You can try throwing it. Then break the window. Come on, just break it. Okay, so I have the brick. You are tensing up. Keep your shoulders down and center your weight on your heels. Just pick up the brick again. <laughs> the window's upset with me. Alright. So now, if you have Vicky with you, you can just have her shoot the window. Very easy. But you don't right now, or I don't. So I'm going to give the brick to Mondana because she's stronger than I am. Understood. This should not pose a difficulty. Bullseye! 
It was two inches left of center, but close enough. Now... <sighs> Let me... up the screwdriver. And head left. This part. It's so cute. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Perhaps we should enter and see for ourselves. The time for games is over. Identify yourself. Really? You don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. A spirit guide? You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close by? Goes there. Mandy, it's just a plastic hula dancer. Yes, of course it is. Apologies. I am on edge. There is a dark energy here that makes me uneasy. Okay, grab the hula dancer. And this is cute if you want to play around. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Sorry about the noise outside. That isn't helping. Huh? Are you real? Or am I just hallucinating from hunger? Oh, good. Been here so long, I'm not sure what's real anymore. I've been here three days, I think. Didn't think anyone would come. Well, we're here. I'm Eli Beckett, by the way. This is Mandana. I'm Logan Brown. I could really use your help. Hold on. You... you can see them. Like, actually see them. Well... Sure, kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? Shapeless blobs? No, that's not right. I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits, and you can talk to them. Yeah, 
I see. You were the one KK told us about. The Bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. Crap. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. She's calm. For now. I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? Thank you. Here's the plan. I need to know their names. It's the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? Funny lady. I'm sure there are clues and things around the house. I'd go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Thanks. Seriously. Alright, let's so come over here. Check out this garbage can. It looks to be full of ashes. From the consistency, it looks like notebook paper. Or at least it was. So if you have El Eli with you, you can talk What's to up? him. Sure, but maybe we should move outside first. Playing with fire magic indoors is a bad idea. Everything about this house is wrong. Something happened here. Something profane. It's all I can do to stop myself from burning this place to ashes. That's what I think about it. The power he's got is rare. And powerful. He's connected to the world of the dead. He can see and talk to ghosts. He can help them. Of course, it looks like we've got to help him first. Right with you. Just me. Yes. I can sense an anger that permeates the walls, crying out to be unleashed or quenched. I would suggest the latter. He has remained at his post for days, and yet he seems at peace. Bestower or not, that is a quality to be admired. Naturally. Alright, so we're gonna fire read, but first let's go in here. There's something in the drawer. Oh. There's a photo here. Some clothes, a beat up doll, a ripped up umbrella. Remember that. Remember what was in there. Alright. Leave. We're gonna go fire read. We have to go outside for it. Eli, I have been meaning to ask. How are you coping? Huh? I'm coping fine. Why? Until recently, we have only entered the field once or twice a month. Now we are out almost every day. I was worried it might be a strain on you. You kidding? This is great! I'm working, I'm doing something, I'm not just stuck in my lab. So don't you worry about me, Mandy. I'm fine. What's up? Don't see why not. What do you have in mind? Sure, just a sec. So Art and Jess...
she had a, a doll. A dog chewed up. have the names, but if you have Vicky with you instead of Eli, um, you can go back to the subway station and talk to the MTA worker with Vicky, and he'll spill the names to Vicky. Or was it not? They know each other, either way. Alright, um, let's go back up. I already tried that. It's not enough. I need actual names. It's the best way to get through. You sure? Let's try it. Are those your names? Art? Jess? Dana? Art? Jess? Dana? The ghosts! They're... No, no! Please, there's no need for this. Art! Dana, Jess, just relax, fellas. Please, relax. That was close. Close? Close? Those ghosts went geist. Geist? Poltergeist! It's what you get when ghosts go bad. Like, really, really bad. But I've only read about them in books. It doesn't actually happen. At least, it shouldn't. Not anymore. Well, it happens now. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. We barely got the circle up in time. You need to tell us what's going on. Fine. I think I've got things under control. If you have questions, ask them now. Oh, this? KK taught me how to make it. Ghosts can't cross it. Not just ghosts. It keeps out any spiritual energy. I've got something similar in my lab. You do? Sure. When you're experimenting with unstable magic, it's smart to be behind a protection circle. But it took me weeks to prepare. You're telling me that you whipped this up on the spot? Me? I just drew the circle. It was KK who turned it on. Amazing. You both must be incredibly powerful. We're just doing a job, one day at a time. Or we would, if we weren't stuck here. Two or three days, maybe? I had some energy bars in my pocket. They got me through the worst of it. But yeah... Won't be long before my shoes start to look very tasty. Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually it doesn't take much. We talk to them a bit, learn who they are, try and get through to them. But these three? They got violent. Ugly. They went after KK. Tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Kid? She's ten years old. Jesus, is she okay? Last time I saw her, yeah. We got this circle up. It calmed them down long enough for her to escape. We've been separated ever since. If she comes in here, the ghosts attack her. I leave the circle, the ghosts attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. You couldn't call anyone? All the spiritual energy screws up my phone, but even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. Because they don't know you're here. Ghosts barely see other people. Only me and KK. As long as I don't provoke them, they won't go crazy again. She's a spirit guide, not a pure ghost. Different rules. KK and I are bonded at the soul. Only I can see her. It's the way it's always been. No. Ghosts are normally harmless. Confused and alone, but harmless. Usually I can talk them down. Find some point of connection. Get them to trust me. But these guys... They won't even listen. They just hate. You are not alone. Supernatural beings have been getting progressively stronger. So things are just gonna get worse? They already have. Well, one thing at a time. Let's focus on getting me out of here. Then I'll worry about how screwed I am. I don't know. 
With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. So I hope you guys have some ideas. Because I'm out. Well, like I said, geists don't just appear. Something happened. Something related to their deaths. If we can figure that out, maybe we can help them. So we investigate. It's our specialty. It depends. Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually dead. Sometimes an object works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. You did? Is it still there? It was there when we left it. Well, get me out of here and I'll be happy to check it out for you. It's the least I could do. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. I... I've never done this before. Nothing like this before. I mean, I love my wife. I do, but... No. No, no, I'm not. I've been unsure of many things, but not this. Why is that? Yes, that's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento, just like you asked. I have a hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it under my heart rate. It will be for me and me alone. And you, if you ever come back. Just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there, taped to the inside where it's hard to see. Now, where were we? That's... Well... Yeah. I... This isn't something we can sweep under the rug. I get that this is hard, and I'm sorry, but we need to focus. You didn't do anything. Remember that. What your demon did here was no accident. It had a reason. A plan. We need to learn what it was. Take your time. Alright, so he said a few things first. Let's check the closet again and see if... Some clothes, a beat-up doll, a ripped-up umbrella. Okay, so we can't take that yet. We need the doll, but the game is very specific about when you're allowed to take it. Uh, so he mentioned his heart rate, and he told you where the key is. Let's go down. I know everything, Dana. That's crazy! You're crazy! I wouldn't do that! This lady told me everything. What lady? You! But why? You're the one who told me to do it! Of course I took you seriously! You gave me instructions, a list of things to buy! So you admit it. You poisoned my dog. You know what? Fine, yes. I killed your fucking dog. It was destroying my GPA. My sleep. Not to mention Arabelle. Is that what this is about, your little rag doll? You promised to fix her months ago! She's been in your closet ever since, just collecting dust. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Yes, Dana. You deserve to die for this. What? You killed my friend. I it was just a dog. G get a grip. You killed my friend. Murder by mental suggestion. A classic demon ploy if there ever was one. Even so, a murder should not create a poltergeist. More investigation is needed. Let's get back to it then. To be honest, it's not just a dog. You don't kill someone's pet. I mean, I can't even imagine how I would respond if someone put my pet on it. Alright, um, let's go back outside. So now we know about the doll, where it is. We'll is this it. what the old days were like? 
The old days. You know what I mean. Going into the field every day, a new monster in every shadow. For 50 years, you and Kalash talked about almost nothing else. I suppose it is easy to romanticize the past. Huh. Taped to the side of a mailbox. Clever. Would never have seen it if we didn't know it was there. Uh -huh. Alright, now, if you try to use it... You sure there are batteries in that thing? Yes, there aren't. But there's a battery in here. So use the screwdriver to get the battery. Alright, pick up the shovel. And now, art, heart rate. I don't think you're gonna pull that off with your bare hands. Use a screwdriver. Is something wrong? Oh! It is tastefully done. At the very least. Mandana, really? It is the truth. That would not be the best course of action. This photo was hidden here for a reason. It could still prove useful. The photo you're not looking at. Alright, let's check out the back of the house again. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around? You slept with that woman! Be quiet. This is your fault. Her fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry, but you murdered Dana. She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No! Murder is what's crazy! You're right. You are so right. Hey! She seduced me! You didn't have to say yes. I don't want to do this, Jess. Well, too fucking bad! The story grows grimmer with each telling. Alright, so... We're gonna dig up her dog. We need something for her. Oh good, there's a collar. Just grab that, will ya? When we return home, I recommend you bathe. Immediately. We need something that she loves. I killed my wife. I cheated on her, and then I killed her. I... why am I so tempted? Why do I want to say yes? I'm confused. So confused. I'm going to go sit in my car for a bit, try and think. Maybe I'll run the motor a little. Check if it's running okay. Could you... Make sure the garage door is closed. Well, everyone's dead. Alright, let's go back inside. I forgot to show you that these photos, one of them shows him with his car and it says art rate. And then there's this one with her dog. It shows he has a collar. Alright, so those were like little clues 
I forgot to show you. Um, do they have anything to say? Yes. I am um, adequate. The word is as close to the truth as I can get. I am part spirit, remember? Having those twisted spirits nearby, it is not pleasant. It is difficult, but I am managing. Hence, adequate. Please do not speak more of this. I love Mandana. Those spirits, those poltergeists, they corrupt the spiritual energy around them. The results are often unpredictable. Your increased visions are perhaps one of them. Naturally. What's up? We're in a house with geists. Of course I'm shaken up. Just be glad the bestower got here first. We wouldn't have stood a chance. We'd already be dead. I just hope he lasts long enough for us to fix it. A bunch of ghosts went geist. That's bound to stir up any spiritual energy around here. But on the list of potential bad things that could happen, more visions are at the very bottom. Right with you. Back upstairs. All right, so we need the doll. Remember, we know it's in the closet. It's important to her. Some clothes, a beat up doll, a ripped up umbrella. Guess it can't hurt to grab it. All right, let's go back to Logan. We should have everything, man. What's the story? Seriously? Dana, this is true? Did you kill the family dog? Okay, okay! She's denying it. She says she had no reason to do that. She's not lying. She was mentally forced into doing it. I see. In that case, the best way to reach her is with something physical. Something she's got a strong attachment to. There's got to be something like that around here somewhere. Jesus. Jess, is that true? You killed Dana because she killed your dog? I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay. Okay! Never mind. She's fine. She's denying all of it. She's saying her dog isn't dead. Do you have any evidence that the dog is dead? Something physical? Find me something like that. And maybe we can get through to her. You did? Art, did you have an affair? Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Relax. I'm not accusing you of anything. He's denying it. He says he loves his wife. Be that as it may, we know the truth of it. He's not lying exactly. He's just confused. Death can cloud your memories, put you in denial. We need something physical. Something more than words. Find something like that. Maybe we can get through to him. All right. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. So now we have all three items. Let's give them to him. A, a doll. Why are you showing me that? An old toy. Let me see. Dana, is this yours? Arabelle, huh? It's a nice name. Oh, I see. Dogs will do that sometimes. I'm sorry. But why did you do that? There was no need for that. I... No. I can't judge you. That's not my department. If you really want to move on from this, you need to make it right. Asking forgiveness, yeah. Doesn't matter if you get it. It's just important you ask. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Just have a little think. That did it. She's aware. She's ready. Ready? Ready to move on. Once we calm down all three ghosts, KK and I can do our thing. But for now, keep doing what you're doing. That's kind of disgusting. What are you showing me that for? Hmm. That might work. Give it here. Jess, do you recognize this? Mary Jane. That was her name? Can you tell me about her? 
I... Yeah. That sucks. It really, really sucks. Dana shouldn't have done that. But you can't do anything about it now. It's out of your control. You see that, right? That's it. That's it. I just need you to think about that for a bit, okay? Right. I think that did it. She's calm. She's ready. Just one more to go. And now the photo. Whoa. Uh, why are you showing this to me? Wait, is that art? Yeah, yeah, this is proof, all right. But who's the woman in the picture? She's kind of hard to make out. Okay, okay, I guess you're right. Art, did you take this picture? I'm sorry, Art, but this is you. You can't deny it. Don't ask me why you did it. That's a question only you can answer. Good. Acceptance. That's the only way forward. I get you weren't in your right mind, but it still happened. It still matters. I don't judge you one way or the other. That's not my department. Just think about that. Can you do that for me? Please? Just hang tight, Art. And I'm sorry. I think that did it. He's ready. Okay, that's the last of them. Here goes everything. There. They're not attacking. Guys? Oh, thank God. KK, get in here. It's safe. God, it's good to see you. You met everyone? This is Eli, that's Mandana, and that's... Wait, duh, you guys can't see KK, can you? <laughs> You're kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, now she's on your other side. Now she's KK. Stop messing around. Anyway, there's just one more thing I need to do. Then I'm going out to eat about a dozen steaks. Hey guys, Dana, Art, Jess, I want you to meet my friend. Her name's KK. I know you all have had a rough few months. But it's almost over. Just take her hand, okay? One at a time. I feel almost human again. Almost makes me... Never mind. That's just it. You guys saved my butt. I would have died in there if you hadn't shown up. There's nothing, Logan. It's our job. That's not what I'm getting at. You guys, you do this all the time? More than we used to, for sure. I'd like to join you. KK too, obviously. Is that possible? We don't want to be caught like that ever again. That's all I want to be. Useful. You more than proved yourself, Logan. I welcome you. Father will not like it. But that can be dealt with. Um, why is that? He often says that death is part of the mundane world, and we should not get involved. But after what we saw tonight, perhaps we should review that sentiment. KK's here too. Don't forget that. Do you have a place to stay, Logan? I've got a place in the neighborhood. Great. You go home and get some sleep. We'll meet up first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, there goes a blue sphere, blue, blue glowing sphere, what was that? We'll find out in the next video. Uh, so that's the Bronx, Unavowed, I'll be back with Staten Island in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye bye.